I actually have a couple of questions. You know, when we want to do something, it seems like the EPA can come in and stop us from having anything done because of health issues. This gentleman over here who worked for the EPA is saying there is a possible health risk. Why can't our county council go back to Mr. Delaney? Oh, we don't we have an election coming up? I think I see his name a lot, Delaney. Why aren't we going back to our council, you know, our congressmen and our senators and saying, look, if the APA is saying that there's a problem here, they stop everything else, why aren't our county councilors going to the EPA and saying, hold up, why can't we do a health assessment here and find out what the real health risks are to our children? I see another question over here. Tell me your name and where you're from. Yes, hi. Okay, so, so, okay. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm one of the council members, so, and my colleagues are, look, we, we wish we could change the federal law. We can change the federal law. We have a representative here from the Congressman McCarthy. Let's hear from her. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, this is a good th this is a this is a good thing to bring up with the members of Congress. Absolutely. Well, and it's you your job is. You're our representative. You are our representative from this county. Well, okay. We. that I also sit on the FCC's Consumer Advisory Committee. We have raised, we have raised with the FCC that the, that the number one, the two, the two largest concerns that we get from constituents is what does it look like and what's the health effect? And we have told the FCC, you have jurisdiction. You need to actually exercise your authority to address the concerns that residents have. I can tell you that Montgomery Public Schools did a study in 2015. They looked at the, the because, because they were looking at the Wi-Fi devices in the classroom, the Chromebooks and various things, and they found, their outside consultant found that they were all within the parameters that the FCC issues. So let me say that we have on numerous times gone in to lobby various members of Congress. We have lobbied the FCC and we will continue and I will tell you as well that we invited every office from the FCC and two different bureaus to attend this meeting and not one of them came and what I told the chairman in the, in the last meeting that we had is that they need to actually be taking the lead on this and addressing the concerns, particularly as we move out to 5G and we have a need to deploy more of these things. But it is, the reason why Congress did that is because they wanted to have a national policy, and, and I agree with you, that we do need to get more of these federal agencies to address the concerns that residents have the chairman has said that he wants to that they needs to be an education campaign and this is part of it and it doesn't help that we are taping this we will provide this record to them but yes it is true that we do need to have better cooperation from federal agencies to use the authority that they have to address those issues how much has the how much lobbying so, there, i'm so sorry sir but you've you've actually had a couple questions and there's someone waiting 